Tom, tell me about your character. He kills people, and he enjoys it. He kills people, and he enjoys it. Jared probably doesn't have that same situation at all. Jared, tell me about your character. He uh, kills people, and he enjoys it a lot. Oh, a lot. <laughs> Not as much well, as my character. My character's character. called the butcher. Well, that's because he's a butcher. He is, he is a butcher. He's a butcher. Yeah, yours is more of an artiste. Yes. Not an artist, but an artiste. Artiste. Yes. With an has, E. Well, you're, he's, yours is really more... I put a lot of thought. My character puts a lot of thought into his metro. work. He's... No. You have a sense of style. He, fin finesse. Panache, sort of, if you will. Panache? Panache. I prefer piratical. Panache. Piratical. But what's the biggest difference between, between your guys' roles, really, on Inspired Guns? Because if I understand it right, Jared's more like the right-hand guy. I'm a com my character is a complete outsider. He's not part of the family. They bring him in to take care of business that yeah. Jared's character is way too sensitive to deal with. Okay. So, <laughs> and so, that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. right? We'll find out in the film. Jared, tell me a little bit more about your character, please. Uh, so yeah, my character is the right-hand man. He uh, the boss of the mafia family, and he, um, he, he kind of is assigned to handle these kind of goof-ups that are you know, part of the Mafia family. Um, he's kind of their handler. So he's kind of the go-between between the boss and these guys. And then these guys, you know, they screw up big time, and then there's some consequences to that. That would be me. That you would be the consequences. I am the consequence. Now, who is the boss in Inspired Guns? Is that giving too much information away, or can't, has that information already who, been put who out? Who plays the boss? Who plays the boss? Oh, Rick Macy. Award-winning Rick Macy is the, is the boss in this film. That's right. Fantastic. Now, tell me about how has this set been for you guys? I mean, we, we go on sets all the time, and sometimes we hear horror stories, sometimes we hear, man, this was the best set I've ever been on in my life. What, is it, what has it been like for you guys here on set this, for the last, well, week or so, right about there? Well, the locations have been fantastic. We shot at Lakai mm -hmm. one day, and it was very, very cool. This location is excellent. I, yeah, I'm loving this location. I haven't seen this one before, but it's it's really beautiful for what this scene is for. We, and shot, I, we shot at the Johnson Mill up in Midway. Uh, those guys, you know, were great in letting us come up there. Uh, Lakai has been awesome. We really have some fantastic locations. We're doing a lot in downtown Salt Lake City. Uh, we've got uh, a house up by the uh, by the U, um, and we've been you know canvassing all the neighborhoods and everything and all that stuff set up. It's been it, we're, we're really excited about the locations for sure. If you'd like more information on this movie, go to filmedinutah.com, and if you would like to submit to the Filmed in Utah Awards, visit us at unitedfilminstitute.com.